Hi guys, so today I'm at my work and I'm doing a set of stairs. I got one uh, uh, set of tread to make and uh, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys how stairs are marked and uh, cut out. Um, we got our 2x12 here and I'm going to flip the camera and show you what I'm doing. So we've got our square here. And it's just a regular framing square. It's two feet from this end to this end. And it is 16 inches from this end to that end. And if you can see, it has all the marks to the inch. And if you look on most uh, rafters, you'll see that uh, here it says uh, common rafter length per foot and run. And it's got a lot of different jacks and stuff for roofing, which we'll cover in another video. But uh, it does have like all the math and stuff is done for you. So all you could do is follow the numbers and things and I'll show you that again in another video. So when you've got your square here, we got our two by 12 and I've already pre-marked it, but I wanted to show you. Um, most, most common stairs nowadays is a 11 inch tread, which is uh, looking, it would be this way. Right here, this line would be your tread, and this line here, right here, would be your rise. So this line is your rise, and this line is your tread. So when we got our square here, and we're marking out, we have a, most most rises on the stairs is seven, but building code is a maximum of eight inches. Well, in order for us to make this particular set of stairs work out, we, uh, I've done the math and it works out to about uh, seven and a half and eight and a quarter so what I do is if you look here sorry I'm trying to hold things and hold the phone so if you look here I've got eight and a quarter right there to the edge of my wood so we're gonna hold that with one hand and we're gonna come over here now as you can see my seven and a half isn't quite right so we want to bring, and I'm going to set the phone down for a second. And there we go. So now you can see that I've got my seven and a half right to the edge of the wood. My eight and a quarter is right to the edge of the wood. Now this line here again is my tread and this side of the square would be my rise so once I make my pencil mark and I do it for five steps so we've got one here which is the bottom part and then we go one two three four five so that's the five treads that we need to finish this set of steps so once I cut all of that out and place it in this is what your stair tread this is called a stair stringer and again it is seven and a half from each rise which is from here to there and this is my tread so then you go and it's five steps so we've got one two three four and five being that so that way we've got exactly what we need for a height um, and you got to remember on the bottom here when you're doing this you have to cut an inch and a half off your bottom because you want your tread which is our this one here which is our inch and a half if you don't cut it off the bottom it's going to raise the bottom step an inch and a half higher than what the top's going to be which is here that way from here to your deck isn't going to be right so we can't forget to cut that off when we're done um, that's your basic stair stringer and then of course as you can see I've got my treads and they have about an inch overhang on each one which is most common with lots of carpenters I've even notched the back piece for a fastener which goes right straight through the back of the stair which I can show you and that way you can fasten your stairs so as you can see there it is there and it goes right through and we fasten our stairs to that so that 
they actually hang and don't fall off. Um, that pretty well covers a basic tutorial on um, stairs. The uh, mathematical equation, which I can cover when I'm back in the shop and have a little more time to work the math out and show you how the math is done. Um, I'll try to do that in the next video if I have time. Anyway, you folks have a great day. Again, hope to hear comments, likes, dislikes. Have a great day.